the Frames Per Second podcast. Bye, 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 bye. Frames for Second Podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in for another episode. A little bit something different. I think in one of the Reddit Roses, people like the sort of conversational pieces outside of the the, the reviews and, yes. and recap. So uh, we got one for you guys. It's a bit of a crossover, though. Uh, so on, on Is the Mic Still On, we covered um, Risa Tisa, her whole story, a 50 part TikTok story. So uh, in, in this one, we're going to talk about what should be done next um but before we get into that uh let's get into some never mind <laughs> <laughs> so uh i can give it to you at the end no nah, that's fine we don't we don't need to do okay. them it's good I, I didn't even think about it uh but before we get into the actual discussion uh mike isn't here but we got ashton sitting in he was on the um the avatar review that we did that was on Netflix. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, he's still here with us to kind of have this discussion on what should happen next. So <clears throat> this whole story is still going on. It is. Every day it's a new update. It's, and I'm locked in. You, <laughs> locked and loaded, nigga. Yeah, she, go, she about to be on Tamara Hall, I think, next this week. She going to be on Tamara Hall? Tamara Hall. Hall. Yeah, the, the talk show. Uh-huh. I just uh-huh. saw her face on somebody's talk show already. Who well, yeah, that's Tamara Hall. I think oh, the, so air, the, I think the episode, episode had... is about to air if it has if it didn't air in the week. But, yeah, so she on there talking about the, the whole thing with her and Charlamagne calling her a big bag. And all of that. Oh, that's who she said. That's who called her back. She didn't mention it, but yeah, that's that's who who they talked about her on the Breakfast Club. (laughs) And and, and shame on you, Spike, Spike, because basically she was. They were saying what Spike was saying, which is that basically she didn't need to be so thirsty. She was exuding big back behavior and saying that if she was a more attractive girl, maybe she wouldn't have fallen for some of the things that she. I never heard of big back. You never heard of big back? Yeah, big back. Big back. Prominent. Big back season is yeah. You get in the gym so you can get 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 rid of your big back. In Charlemagne's defense, he has this thing where he say Big Back Brigade when he talks about all the Big Backs. He, he asked, he asked, was she a part of the Big Back Brigade? He uh. didn't say that she was. And then Jess he Hilarious said, was like, yeah, she looked like, was it somebody climbing the up the mountain? going up the hill. Yeah, yeah she's climbing up the mountain, yeah. Damn. Well, well anyway, yeah, so it's, it's, it's still a whole mess. Uh, Legion out here doing interviews. I saw Legion. He got a two and a half ass hour interview line and talking about his co-workers been told her that she was going after his money and his (laughs) fake ass secret offshore accounts. That nigga crazy as fuck. Is Legion is the guy she's talking about? Huh? Legion is the guy. Legion is, yes, the nigga. Yeah, he. The nigga. Yep, he he dropped something, but now he has a whole part out. Like he's doing his own version of it. Something like that, right? Yeah, that I. I I I haven't, I haven't, I don't, I don't tap into his stuff. Too too tough, too tough. But I did hear he did a two point five, uh, a two and a half hour um, interview, kind of giving his side of the so story. So he's countering her accusations. Yes, he says he's not lying, and and basically she's she's lying. And Jesus. Jesus Christ! Well, they yeah. say he got uh, people found him, even though she never like. I heard that. Bro, yeah, the, the, the internet, cr- yeah. Man, yeah. They yeah, don't find yeah. anybody, bro. I don't know how they did that. Because it didn't seem like she dropped any revealing information for them yeah. to do it. But you really, if you really paid attention to the story, I don't know how they would. I mean, you know, the super sleuths is gonna do what they do. Mm-hmm. But if you listen to the story, there were things that she mentioned, like they found like his wrestling belt. He was really into. She mentioned that he was really, really into WWE. She talked about how he had this watch collection and like various little details. She was very uh, detailed. And they used that to find his social yeah. media. He, like, yeah, he his social media. Football. He had pictures oh of him God. holding his belt and pictures of his watches and shit like that. So yeah. Well, the first batch dropped on February 14th and it's been going on since. We are now in March and we are still talking about it. (laughs) Uh, 50 videos, 50 plus now, uh, more than six hours long. She went from a couple of thousand followers on TikTok to over a million, two million or something like that. Crazy. 400 and- so hard, honey. Yep, uh, the TikTok series has gone over 437.4 million collective views on TikTok. Is she converting she that into dark- revenue? No, revenue, and I yes. think she. It oh, was, it's finally happened because okay. I thought they were monetized, so that's what people were saying. Like, and I know a lot of people saying, "Why would you like people finding Legion and try?" Essentially, she monetized those videos and made money, 
And so now what people are trying to do, and this is why they people who like found Legion, mm -hmm. it's like they're trying to attach themselves to the story so they can monetize their videos too. So if I put out a TikTok saying that I found Legion and give you stories on everybody's gonna flock to my video and now I'm able to capitalize off of mm. this situation as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's essentially kind of become a money game at this point. Like people doing reactionary videos now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And people are also now telling their version of their Legion story oh, as well. Boy. Yep. So it's created this whole moment where other women and yeah. alike are like, Hey, I, I, this is my story. So I, I think that's kind of dope to empower them to, to speak out um, and that she's able to do that. Because I heard uh, one, one of my in-laws last night said that somebody sent her a car. BMW. So, yeah, yeah so, so supposedly she's getting endorsements from BMW because that was a big part of the story. I don't know if they pulled out. I hadn't heard that, but that she was supposed to be in a commercial or something. And mm -hmm. people were like, they need to at least send her her, navy, her blue her blue <laughs> BMX5 with cognac interior. Like she at least need that. But yeah. I think people are sponsoring her to go to London and yep. go to Paris and stuff like that. So yeah, she's um, she's getting stuff for out of there. What? For her Amen. pain and suffering, honey, and for, for payment for our entertainment. It's pain and suffering. But so now the so <laughs> all of that is going on. So now the question is, and we kind of put this out there on is the mice law. I think this is a good place to have this conversation though, because this is what <laughs> we cover. Should it go to the big screen? At like, should this is there enough here? to turn this into a movie or a limited series. Absolutely. Rod, you mentioned that Zola got her movie. If, if you are an exec somewhere on a streaming service or, or wherever, entertainment company, are you calling Risa Tisa to get this story, the rights of this story? Absolutely. 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 Absolutely, yesterday. Like they should already have writers working where Absolutely. getting this formatted for TV. I mean, mm. she gave you the, the you don't, it don't even take very much, trans, just transcribe the, the goddamn, cause she's so fucking detailed. Because hmm. even not watching, compelling? I was so going to say, even not watching any of we didn't. we've now done two separate yeah. conversations about it. What makes it compelling? Um, the uh, There's an aspect of it, and the way she was detailed, it made me feel like I was talking to one of my homegirls about, mm. bitch, what happened? Mm. No, he didn't. Mm. Well, when, and she's like, no, I got it. it, like, I, it when I was listening to it, I was like, damn, this is, I know bitches who tell stories like this. And I'd be like, get to the meat. But then by the time I get to the meat, it's like, oh, but he had told you that. So yes, the details absolutely did help set the stage. It's character development. Mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's yes, yeah, character development. And I know you guys refer to it. Yeah, some of it's like, just like watching soap operas. It was like listening to, it was like listening to a Zane novel. It was like just one of, it was like an audio book that I could put on and listen and be, and once the shit started unraveling, it just was like a big avalanche. Mm. And that would make novel. a compelling story mm -hmm. on TV. It, it definitely almost sounds like- A series or movie? Lifetime was- I feel like it needs to be a movie. Mm. I feel like it needs to be a movie. Stretched out, you might get it, it. Might get a little boring. You think over time, you stretch it out as a series? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's enough there really to give me like I'm gonna tune in next week. You have to add more stuff to it, probably. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, but what's I, I don't understand what that movie looks like though. Like, what's the end? It, it looked like well, um, yeah. After how did it it's end? a thriller. How did it end? How it ended? Divorce. She divorced him. Yeah, mm -hmm. she divorced him and found. And but after she divorced him, she found out all this stuff and um, like. It, it, it's like as she was going through the divorce proceedings, that's when she found out about the other wife. That's when she found out that the, uh, the other wife's kid wasn't really dead. All the that's so it's like as she was going through the divorce proceedings, more and more it came out. Um, the end was hard. it's almost like um, sleeping with the enemy. Like you get away from the evil nigga, but you always <laughs> looking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, yeah. I haven't listened to the whole thing. I definitely think they could make uh, at least a movie. If they made a movie out of Zola, they could definitely make yeah. a movie out of this. I mean, you already know it has the audience, so they would love to see it adapted into a, a big screen. Um, Ashton, um, I, think, I haven't really talked to you about it, but I know you heard of people talking about it. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think, based on uh, just it making it into your um, <laughs> uh, circle, mm -hmm. is this something that somebody should give her a call and get the rights to the story? I mean, yeah, it, it, like us. Uh, Spike said they should have did it yesterday. Because um, it just is compelling and so many people are talking about it. People are going to go watch it regardless. I actually think it'd be worked better as like a limited series as opposed mm. to a movie. 
because I think what Zola has over this is like, it's like one straight narrative. Like all these things happen mm -hmm. in this consecutive timeline where this one played out over time. Mm -hmm. So like I think and part of it to me was mm -hmm. Dan's fifty video, she's still talking about this. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know TikToks could be ten minutes long. Mm -hmm. Like as everyone talking about how it happened. So I think if they but on the first episode, oh, she meet this guy doing COVID and this thing's happening. Okay. Maybe. You know, second episode, okay, now we getting married. Okay, third episode, oh, that's, that's a little, some red flags there. Fourth episode, oh, a bit more red flags. Like you. Yeah. And then by yeah. the end, it's like, oh, yeah, no, I got, oh, you, you got to get <laughs> Yeah. I think, I don't know how you do all of that in one movie and make it, it have the same kind of impact. Hmm. What production companies? Definitely not Tyler Perry, right? He shouldn't touch it. I, I don't know, right? You know, he might be right up his ass. Huh? That might be right up his alley. Yeah, yeah but, but it would be good for us. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that for her, that wouldn't be the best. She shouldn't take that offer. She shouldn't take the Tyler Perry deal, right? <sighs> Is it, do do she does she really want quality out of it though, or does she really want like Tyler this Perry? Story? Give it the the mm -hmm. the Stop niggas it. gonna no. watch it. Yeah. yeah. No. Here, so I think Tyler Perry is a good call because I think he would, of course, he would that point that part. But I think he would give it the right black spin it needs because he already does sort of stuff like this anyway. Mm -hmm. So this is almost like that, except it's from her. So I think he can definitely put his little little Tyler spin Perry, on it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can Tyler Perry this thing. And I but think people, whoever, he gets such a bad rap with some people though. But these, but you're saying the target is the market, the targeted audience is already there. Yeah, I think yeah. the target. The, yeah, I think that is his demographic. And yeah. outside of, I mean, outside of that, I really feel like outside of just quality, like whatever deal is going to be best for her. Like would Tyler Perry offer her the ability to have the right amount of stake and receive the mm -hmm. right amount of royalties and benefit off of this versus if you give it to like a Paramount or a big, you know, a, a Sony or a bit, if they wanted it, if they're even paying attention, right? Are they going to actually give her the deal that works best for her? Because at the end of the day, if this woman went through this, this is her pain and suffering. Mm -hmm. She wants to make sure she gets compensated in a way for put, I mean, she put it out there for everybody to, to hear. Let's let her get the best deal out yep. of this. And 100%. I don't necessarily know if a big big a24 or a big film house is going to do that yeah they would definitely try to own as much as yeah. possible but it's just like how can I sign over the rights to my story that I live to you without something mm -hmm. some type of residuals off of this I don't know about that one yeah, yeah that's true you know but I also think that you know and, and it gets complicated we're not experts at this at least I'm not to even talk mm -hmm. about the potential um rights of other people that's involved with the story like uh legion's part and mm -hmm. you know the the wife and the kid who the kid came out and he made a video the wife mm -hmm. made a video like you know what do they have to sign off on and you know do they get a piece of of the check or yeah. do you just change their name but everybody know it's them yeah. so it's like hey where 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 my cut you're making money off of a story that i was yeah. involved in and I haven't, I haven't gotten a, a dime. So yeah. is, is well, people there do that with books all the time, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they could get around that. Yeah, people yeah. do that with books all the time. Protect the innocent, things like that. You can because that. Legion is not that nigga name. Like at the end of the day, any any correlation to who this man actually was wasn't because of Risa Tisa. It was because of the 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 viewers. Mm -hmm. So okay. the viewers found him. She did not use real names. She mm -hmm. did not gotcha. use, she did not, use, and she was very careful about, I don't even think she, did she refer to where he actually worked? I don't know. But I feel like she, mm -hmm. she tried to do her best to, to Leave protect mm -hmm. his identity. The internet is going to internet though. I think it's interesting that you say that now, because is, is it the story? Is it her story specifically that's interesting or could someone steal it? And like regurgitated, for example, like Snowfall. Like they say that's yeah. um, Freeway Ricky Ross's story, but mm. they, it wasn't enough of his story for him to be like, I can sue you guys for that. Mm -hmm. But it was close yeah. enough where people knew what it was. Mm -hmm. Could they do that to her? They could. I definitely think they could. And I think that's part of the appeal. Like I know so many women who are be like, see, this is the shit I'm talking about. It's scary out here. Mm -hmm. Like it's like I think there's a certain and then especially because it was here in Atlanta, it was so close. Like she was in Riverdale. I, I know. And yeah. she's talking about like she had so that. many different I didn't landmarks. Mean, I didn't know yeah, oh. she was she she lived in Riverdale. She was trying to move to Cobb County. They was looking for houses in Douglasville. She was showing the house. Like we know somebody, the the couple who um the house, the first house that she was 
was talking about that actually was sold to a white couple, mm -hmm. we know the realtor who sold that house. So it's like so many different, like one, two degree of separate degrees of separation uh -huh. that it's like for those, especially single women who are out here trying to date, it's like, man, I need proof of funds before we go on the first <laughs> date, nigga, I need proof. So yeah, I think there's a certain relatability there. So I do think that it could be potentially spun. It's enough of a, it's enough of a generic story there mm, where it could mm, be spun with or without mm. her. Yeah, she gotta be careful. Yeah, she right. really gotta watch out there. A lot I didn't of know she said it. Yeah. A lot of references. Like when you, when, you know, you're not gonna listen to it. But if you were, if you had heard, you were like, oh, I know that place. Yeah, she was like, I was on a quick trip on Upper Riverdale Road. Bruh, I'm like, bitch, it's crazy. Referencing <laughs> Clayton County yeah. and everything, bro. <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. Is, yes. It, it, yeah, she was damn near out. Yeah, about yeah. by us. Yeah, it's about the <laughs> way, bro. It's, it's it's crazy. We might well, we might have seen her out before. You never know. Grand yeah. Tourist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's crazy. But that is a good point you two bring up. That yeah, she this somebody could take this and adapt it, and uh and tell their own story. They'll they'll get that should get shot down if they find out she had no involvement. They they people. I think the internet's will really rant and rave about that, that shit be on Tubi that. all the time now Tubi yeah, yeah Tubi can do it and probably I know get away Tubi with it. does it but because this shit is hitting so hitting so many people and they, they find out that she's not getting anything from it I think they they would boycott if it was a big there. network or a recognizable yeah. name I agree with you yeah, if somebody yeah. bootleg did this shit and put it out on Tubi, Tubi yeah, like the nurse that too. yeah yeah that, oh, they told the nurse on the baby on the side of the road yeah they told her story mm -hmm. I know <laughs> yeah, yeah so yeah that that could easily happen on Tubi so I, it could happen I'm just saying but that I'm, I, I agree with you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It, it can't only be on a certain scale they're not going to be able to right. do a big, be a big budgeted backlash, film bro, yeah. to yeah. that shit they'll, they'll get shut down um, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to have a quick conversation. So I, I think real, the last thing Nate, is the thing that really resonated, I guess, with a lot of women is that there it was a, a relatability to some of the stories, whether it's, it's a direct story or indirect story. Um, that is it's just, it's, it's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard, that's streets. what they say. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was something. Yeah, and, and shit, Legion, bro, Legion came out. Then he say uh, the captain, the captain loose name. Mm. Man, well, hey, so the captain loose. So they, <laughs> Risa came out and was bro. basically saying, like saying that you know the family and the brother and stuff are in support of him, but there were some things about the story that they needed clarification on. So she came back and I can't remember what the two things were, but then she said that the brother wanted her to put the message out that the captain is loose, and we everybody was. I think I even t I commented on that. I was like, the fuck is the captain? <laughs> Who is the captain and what does that mean? So I don't know if that's the family, like that's the that's the, the call for the family to be like, yo, this nigga out here, he, we wildin'. <laughs> we gotta go um, get him. We gotta go put him in the hole, bro. The captain, what? the captain is loose. We gotta go lock him up. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> so who is that jacket? <laughs> so yeah, who is the captain? Is it that's, we don't know because mm -hmm. they. So apparently, like this nigga been sick for a long time, Ooh, right? Like Legion, the, Legion, Legion, yeah. And so this is something that he's they've been dealing with since he was a child, like him just being a habitual liar and him like going to they. The, I think she said that the family put took him to therapists and all this kind of stuff. So this is a known thing. Damn. So I don't know if he get like I don't know kind of one of them things like oh he off his meds, y'all. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. who said this? Uh, Legion's brother told Risa Tisa to, oh. to put the call out. So, um, so his it, family is really co-signing this. Mm -hmm. So has this story inspired any of y'all to tell y'all own like horror dating stories? No. Hell no. Because no. whenever I was on a date, that's like one of my first questions. Like, so tell me about your worst date. Oh, oh, wow. it's, a, it's a great open, it's a great, great icebreaker. Question. And it's like, it all right, as long, as long as I do better than that, we good. You don't, <laughs> judge, you don't judge people for telling you bad dating stories? Nah, I definitely do. <laughs> you do? <laughs> Why? Because it'd be like, dang, all that. I, I, I almost feel like you fell for that. Like what? Like no. You know, you, you know, points for vulnerability. No. God damn. Don't, e don't even let me know. I don't even want to know if you was dumb. In this <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna turn no. me off. It's I don't even want to know off. if you was dumb. <laughs> I don't oh, want to know, bro. Man, like, yeah, keep funny. that to yourself. No, that's, that thought has never crossed my mind. Keep it I got to a, yourself, I got a pretty good, really bad date story. Yeah. So oh, I was like, yeah, I leave with that. It's like, oh, dang, that happened to you? Like, yeah, no, no crazy, right? Yeah. Crazy, I'm, right? Yeah. So like I'm going to judge you. And you absolutely I don't share your bad I know. Bad I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. I don't ask no Why you even asking me? Why you even asking? Right, I'm not going to ask you. It's about me and you right now. 
My God, guys. Oh, oh, Keep being transparent, guys. Don't listen to Spike. Jeez. Oh, man. That's funny. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're going to leave it there, bro. Yeah, so, one more. Y'all don't listen. have anybody ahead, else out of Tyler Perry that y'all said think should get it? Hey, that's, that's a good question. Uh, Jordan Peele? What's the. What's the that he could be a cool horror album. Yeah. 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 I would say all four of uh, Jordan Peele, Tyler mm-hmm. Perry, Issa Rae. Ooh, Issa Rae's good. And um, what's the chick that done the shy? Oh, I don't know uh, her. Lena Wade? Uh, yeah, Wade. Lena Wade. Oh, don't put Lena Wade there. She'll really fuck it up. <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll kill everybody. Everybody will die from HIV. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, and then it'd be like, Lisa just gave everybody right. AIDS. Because you know that's the that's the um, that's the the story. Oh, so because remember, well, if you you watch the fifty parts, mm. he got sick and she didn't like supposedly oh, that's his, right. right. And then they say when he pops up, he had these those lesions oh on his God. face. That's oh, why it's not he, right, and he lost all that weight. Mm. So people are so the the question is, okay, bitch, get a test because is this nigga really sick from HIV? Because there was oh no explanation God. as so to what got him sick to make him lose all of that weight. Because she said he went from like a triple XL to a fucking medium yeah. oh within a, God, within the span of a couple yes. weeks or so. We got so. attempted murder in here too, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's all kind of shit. Either he was smoking crack or he do got like. Going no, this definitely sounds like a Tyler Perry movie now. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. now you're going to Tyler that's Perry. That's what I'm saying. Issa Rae might not touch this. I do like Jordan Peele from a whole I do too. Mm-hmm. That shit yeah. crazy, bro. I that do one. too. Nah, this this is Tyler Perry all over it. But I like yes. I like all four of those names though. Except yeah, I like Lena. except Lena. Yeah, except so, uh, yeah, except her. I'm trying to think anybody. Who do you think? Yeah, I was gonna ask you if you know anybody that could. Probably. Jordan Peele was the one I threw out, uh, I, and Tyler Perry. I guess I threw both of those mm-hmm. out, Tyler Perry and Jordan Peele. But uh, I mean, hell, Tyler Perry done did this story a couple of times. He just put some lawyers in it, put some doctors in it, put a family in. Like this yeah, is the Tyler bad Perry. wigs. Quality <laughs> wise, Issa will probably do the best job. She would do the best job of getting like making it palatable for people that didn't really follow it. Ooh, uh, 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 uh. Childish, uh, Childish Gambino, mm. oh, Donald yeah. Glover. Yeah. Donald Glover. Yeah, he probably could. He yeah, probably he could, could do something with it. He, he, he would lighten it up. Make and that'd it a little be good from funny, an Atlanta yeah. aspect. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Riverdale. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He would call it Riverdale. Him. Oh, is this Riverdale story out? It's a Riverdale uh, show out. Right. Oh, it's yeah, Riverdale. the Archies. Call it Clayco. Clayco. Call it Clayco. Yeah. 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 No, that that would, that would work. Yeah. Clayco I like all five of those. Honey. Hmm? Like, like old Chronicles. Chronicles. <laughs> yeah, those, those, those are dope. Yeah, I think Donald Glover what, could do something with it. What about Spike Lee? Nah. Yeah, oh, he gonna, they they all be floating. Nah. He gonna, he gonna, be yeah. <laughs> he gonna turn that shit he make it all artistic. Like, uh, he know, like his, it's like his updated version of She's Gotta Have It. I don't feel like this is his, this is his off brand. This isn't his brand. Right. Yeah. It's a little. It's too, too black for him. Oh, <laughs> it's damn near. Uh, damn, Spike. It's yeah. just not. It's like, I ain't doing that nigga It's shit. too on the nose almost. Like, there's mm-hmm. no, it's no, I don't really feel like it's an artistic aspect to this story yeah. for him. Yeah. Yeah, no. That, no that, I don't think it's, it's a real cut and dry. It's not a deep story unless you try to create some depth here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't I don't see that for Spike Lee. That is actually a really good point. Like, yeah, it's it just a messy drama filled story. Like, that's mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. You know, very like soap opera ish. So it's like Yeah, that's why I feel it, like a Tyler Perry would be Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I just don't yeah, I just mm. What's the, what's the issue with Tyler? Because like certain demo like he just gets such a bad rap for stuff. Like he he does Maybe have you a saw demographic. That movie. What? The Mur- 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 saw me a I know. I gotta watch it. I know. So, I mean, he's getting a bad rap for that. So I, you know what? I I so, understand, but at least with this one, he didn't create the story though. He didn't write it. It's already written for him. He's just adapting it. Do you think that would change it in a bit? It's still gonna bit? say written, directed, and edited. <laughs> <By Tyler. laughs> but but, but to Rob's point, like Tyler in some form or fashion is responsible for writing and composing and putting out those those stories that he's getting a bad rap for in this particular instance. He got the story already. Yeah. But it's Ooh. more than just the story with him sometimes. It's the- Duvernay. Nah, Ava, nah. I don't think there's something for her. Too low brow for her. Could, I mean, look at Queen Sugar. She could do it. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how she and did think, Queen Sugar. Yeah, and I think that she could do it in a way that, that actually like humanizes and gives you some sort of in, more empathy for Risa Tista. That's what mm-hmm. I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Risa could probably have a little nuance with it too. Mm. But no, nah, it was good. Yeah. But now nah, to answer your question, it, it's it's a lot more to that than with, with Tyler. Like 
just from a directorial standpoint, mm-hmm. from like shit, hair and makeup, like be horrible. Like it's just so many things <laughs> that he rushes. It's not just him. He also he has teams. For me, Coco was good though. They had a good style. The hair though, the hair wasn't. Whose hair wasn't? Uh, the mother. The oh, the main guy. Trevon say didn't have no wig. That was a that it was his had, hair. Had, that was his hair. I don't think that was his hair. You think that was a that was a, a yeah. It looked like a bad I don't wig. Think so the line you could tell about it was like a man um joint man piece. unit. Yeah, it's a man, man unit. unit. <laughs> yeah, yeah not Steve Harvey. You, you couldn't Steve tell Harvey? that. I couldn't tell. You could tell by the lineup. You could tell by the lineup. Oh my god! I know it was ugly be in the back. It was that bad that pulled you out of the movie. Uh, not uh, yes. that's not the only part that pulled me out of the movie, but but some it's very it, I notice it in all his stuff. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's just one of those things people talk about it all the time. Yeah, yeah. so it's like you know they had Kelly looking right. Kelly was good. I think she can't. I think she brought her own makeup she and, might and, have. and, and <laughs> she um, her yeah, own and hair. I think she brought her own stylist. Yeah, cause mm-hmm. that was because she she like, looked to, cool. totally different from everyone. Like how do you look? Cause yeah, the, the chick that played Mississippi, her wig was a mess. Poor boy was. That's what I'm saying. Oh, pretty. Yeah, so those would be the, some of the concerns. Just those. Yeah, with Tyler Perry, I think I think it won't get the level of seriousness for it. Damn. With Tyler Perry, like people won't take it as serious. They're like, oh yeah, Tyler Perry. It's a Tyler Perry movie. That's the thing. Yeah. But yeah. if you get somebody like a Jordan Peele or Donald Glover, it's it's gonna be he taken a lot more slip serious, huh? He tried with for color girls. Huh? Tyler color tried girls for with for color girls. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that was his too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, but you know, it'd be a quick check for her. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yes. Yeah. To you know, take that trauma yeah. and turn it into money. It's just his stuff is so microwave, microwaveable. You oh. know what I'm saying? People like Issa and all that. I feel like they had they has more staying power. Mm. Yeah. You know. Uh, well, you guys let us know. Uh, throw out some names that we did not mention uh, that you guys think will be. They got to be, be black. This. Yeah. Well, I was going to say Steven Spielberg. <laughs> they got to be black. I mean, he did. Who did the color, color purple? purple? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, they got to be black. They got to be black. Oh, man. A white person better not touch this story. Oh, hey. Yeah. What white person? He says ours. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is yeah, this is such a crazy thing. It's everywhere. No, but anyway. nah, but kudos to her though. Kudos yeah. to her. Yeah. I'm glad that it's it's picking up the way it is. I'm glad that you know she put her story out there and people are gravitating to it the way that it is. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I hope you the best, bitch. I hope you yeah. make it to Paris this year. So y'all, really, y'all have y'all y'all rooting rooting for her. We are rooting for Risa Tisa. Fuck Legion. <laughs> Damn, he's sick. Having a nickname because you got legions on your faces is crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. Yeah. Man. That's yeah. almost crazy than blasting jelly. <laughs> <laughs> she out here trying to she's trying to say the say the ladies, trying to let us know what to look for. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. That's what she's doing? Yeah. She she, she I, posted all the red flags for them to look for. Absolutely. That is crazy. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't I haven't watched one second of that. I know you haven't. Yeah. Like I just can't. I had to because no one else were, <laughs> and we had to talk about it. So I need, I need to make sure. I don't I even know what her voice sounds. I don't, don't even know what this lady voice. Like yeah, like this is right up your can't alley. I don't even like, know what her <laughs> voice sound like. I didn't even know what she looked you, like. You put, I didn't have to see her. I could hear her voice. I said that's recent. I don't know what it sounds like. I literally just saw her when we did the. Uh, mm. my, I, that was my first time even seeing her. I still got a point. I see. I'm sorry. So what? At what point? What video? Like, was like, oh, I'm locked. I in. gotta hear this. It yeah, was, I, I want to know the same thing. It was like, so it took me a minute. So by mm-hmm. it was like halfway through. And she was trying to pull me in. I was. I, was, I, I did not take I the bait. I was. It was kid. like I, I think did not by take 25. I was like, oh, here it comes. Mm. And then by the time I got to 30, I'm like, I'm locked. <laughs> so I can All start at in. 25, and I'm. No, good. you can't because if you, you don't have the details, you don't understand what you're listening to. Because I had to, my homegirl. She was like, "Are you out listening to this?" I was like, "No, but I am now." And so by episode eight, I was like, "Y'all, why? Why? Like, I don't need to know what color his jeans was. I don't need to know this." And it's like, "Y'all, I don't care about the four door sedan charger. Like, I don't. I don't care." But then by 25, it all made sense. Yeah. Question: So at what moment was it? Like to piggyback off what he said, not the specific episode, but what was she talking about? Were you like, oh no, I gotta hear this. So when they got into the stalemate about proof of funds, 
yeah, when fun. when we got into the stalemate of the house and he was like you know like i'm like nigga you you got the chase uh, you got the chase letter saying that you approved for a seven hundred thousand dollar house like why you can't give proof of funds he's like i'll get them proof of funds once they accept it and i'm like once we got into that stalemate i was like bitch you in trouble so i was talking girl, to you i was talking run. to youtube bro oh. I, was like, I, I, I ain't gonna lie Rod. i was Damn. like hey bro i ain't gonna lie <laughs> i was like Go like, what are you talking about? You don't want it, man. The shit didn't make any sense, bro. You like, was offshore crazy. account. Yeah, what? I was taking notes. I was. I, come on. <laughs> what are you taking <laughs> notes for? Because I knew we had to cover it, but I was like, I needed to make because it was fifty parts. I was like, okay, I got to make sure I can refer back to this uh, later on. But yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was talking, I was, I was talking to the damn computer the whole time. Oh yeah, they it's got the same point for you. Uh, uh, proof of funds was was definitely the the like it. But um, but nah, it was just like yeah, it was it was. I held out until Wednesday, Rod, and mm -hmm. then when I saw somebody put it in our Reddit, I was like, oh shit, well we got. Yeah, we had to talk now. about it. So I was like, let me go ahead and get ready. I was waiting for somebody to put it on YouTube, of course. I already said all this when it's the mic salon, but people may not listen to that. And um, but if you don't listen now, but but for but yeah, it, it started Sunday when I walked in the house, and it was like, oh man, I have, I've been hearing about this story. I was like, all right, but I got week, I got. Daily updates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got daily I'm updates about what was going on. Between that and love is blind, honey. I'm oh, I'm man. at my capacity Ooh, for men. Love is blind. Ooh. We gonna see you there. We'll catch you guys next time. We out there.